this video we're going to talk to something that I can guarantee you this is going to happen uh, to you. You've all heard about fishing or spoofy mails and that's exactly when you get your um, eBay mailbox uh, you're going to get some kind of messages in there that are going to be similar to the one I have here. I'm going to show you maybe three or four other examples. They're writing to alert you that your eBay account has been suspended. Now these really look serious and they look so There's the eBay logo, eBay colors, and what they try to do in all cases is to get you to click on something inside of that email that takes you or right to uh, eBay. Obviously it's not going to take you to eBay. What are they looking for and why do they do this? They send out one or two million emails like this to different eBay members and they are simply hoping that one or two people answer these. That's all they need is two people out of two million. Uh, and they will give away everything that has to do with their personal identity and of course that uh, contributes to identity theft. And that's what they're trying to do here is to get you to click on this and give them your social security number, your date of birth, etc. You know what they're looking for. Let me show you a separate one now. This one was sort of cute, I thought. Um, it says, it's a question from an eBay member respond now. You can just guess that. Never going to say anything like that when you get something from eBay. But it says, according to eBay, you are using my email address for your login and there has been a dispute opened on you in regards to item number blank 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 if you were by the way were to type that item number in a search engine it would not show you anything it is not a legitimate item number uh, what is their goal here and you need to change your address now stop using my email address or I will sue you what is their goal obviously they want you to click here on the respond now again identity theft let's look at another this is one of my favorites. It just looks so official. Notification of limited account access. Unauthorized funds transferred. They have this wonderful picture up here. And it tries to convince me that somebody has been, a third party, has been into my PayPal account and has used my money to buy something. And in order to protect my security of my account, and that's, it says in here, this is my, their primary concern. They have a case number and, oh, wow, if I want to restore access to my PayPal account, because obviously they are sure they had to close it down because of this, uh, just click right here or you can click here and it will definitely take you uh, to the PayPal site. Now you all know when you click on anything in an email like that it is not going to take you there. So here's the last one we'll look at. This is actually from uh, PayPal uh, or so it says and it says that somebody um, has uh, taken my user ID and my password and it um, it was denied as invalid by eBay. In other words, eBay somehow just suddenly thought to tell uh, PayPal that my username and password were invalid. So it gives me directions, log into my PayPal account, etc. It gives me a lot of directions and well, oh, there it is. A typical click on this. You don't have to type anything in again. Now that's my last example. What do you do to stop this or discourage it? I'll tell you what. There is no way to stop these people from sending out these millions and millions of, of phishing emails. Uh, what you do is you type in, and this is from eBay customer support, you take every one of those emails that you get and you forward it to spoof at ebay.com and you will immediately get an answer within just maybe 10 seconds after you send this and it will uh, from safe harbor and it will tell you uh, thank you very much for contacting us about a potential fraud spoof email or a website and they will investigate the situation now what happens after that you will get an email uh, secondly then uh, that says uh, we received a message attempting to solicit a transaction outside of eBay or a message sent in an, obtend, uh, uh, in an attempt to obtain your account password or other sensitive information. And these are really quite interesting sort of emails from eBay and they will give you click links to click on but I guarantee you I wouldn't click on any of those anyway. And they're uh, explain to you what these are and they're done by third parties and it gives you spoof tutorials so you really need to go in and uh, type this in in your browser and look at the spoof tutorial and it will really give you the information that you need to know in order uh, to 
identify these things and then forward them to spoof at ebay.com. Believe me, never ever click on something inside of an email that wants then ask for your personal information.